Kings Valley Tuesdays. Hi everyone, I'm Kathy Ellslake, president of Tasty Blend Foods. Welcome back to my kitchen. Today I want to show you guys a quick and budget friendly meal using our chicken and dumpling mix once again. So for this you're just going to need um, some chicken. Now what I have here is two cans of chicken that I've drained and rinsed. But you can boil your own chicken or if you have a rotisserie chicken or some leftovers, feel free to use that as well. Then I have one bag of frozen vegetables any vegetables you want. This is just your standard uh, corn, pea, green bean, and carrot. Then I have a bowl, some mix, a measuring cup, a whisk, a spoon, and some buttermilk. Now to get started, we have to get a pot over on the stove with four cups of boiling water, and we're gonna start by making our gravy mix. This is all gonna come together super easy, and it's gonna be perfect for these cold afternoons. Now that we have our water up to a boil, we want to go ahead and get our gravy mix in. Now, remember that our bags are labeled step one, step two inside of our box. We're going to use step two later. We'll need that right now. So the first thing we want to do is open our gravy and whisk it into our boiling water to try to get it as smooth as we possibly can. Once we get it all whisked in there, we're going to dump in our chicken. And we're going to dump in our mixed vegetables. And then we will bring this right back up to a boil. It's going to take probably five or ten minutes to get this back up to a boil. And while this is happening, I'm going to go over and get our dumpling mix ready from step two. This has been boiling for about five or ten minutes. Our chicken is nice and hot. Our vegetables are nice and hot and cooked through. And so I'm just going to dump it right into my casserole dish. Kind of spread it out a little bit. And then I'm going to go in with step two of our dumpling mix. So I'm just going to put the mix in a bowl. I've got half a cup of buttermilk. And I'm going to use a little spoon here just to bring that together. It doesn't take but a second. You don't want to overmix because then you're going to have tough biscuit toppers. Now this is our little take on a a pot pie, if you will, and uh, this makes it really nice to get individual servings. So what I'm going to do is just take my mix on my spoon, and about what I feel like is a good little serving, I'll just plop right down in there. Really just depends on how big do you want your pieces of biscuit. Um, you could do four on each side for a total of eight. You could do more than that. It's really, really up to you. So we'll get these on, and then we're going to put them in our 400-degree oven, and that's going to take about 30 to 40 minutes or until they're as brown as you like them. So once we get these on there, we'll just drop it right into our oven. This has been in the oven for about 40 minutes and our biscuits look nice and golden brown, which is exactly what I was going for. Now, the way that I like to serve this is just to make up some mashed potatoes and put the biscuits and all that gravy and vegetable right on top. Now, the thing about this meal is for about $12, give or take, you have fed your entire family. Remember that you can use canned vegetables, you can use frozen vegetables, you can use rotisserie chicken, cut corners, any way you would like. Remember that you can find all of our recipes on our website, tastyblend.com, and nobody has to know that it came from a mix. Put the oven, get a mix of taste. 